Oh yeah, right guys, just nipped out between showers because I promised you I'd do a quick um, update on the, uh, the Letpot LH LPHSE and I want to do a few technical specifications. I'm trying to find somewhere dry to put this lot. There we are, do what I do. Put it there for now. I do, right. Now as I said before, it's a five and a half litre tank and the light extends to quite a long way. Look, that's impressive. And that is 16 inches. Let's see if I can go any higher. No, that's it. 16 inches, which is 19 off the work top altogether. So that's got a 16 inch growing height, which is pretty good. I've just, just taken the, uh, the domes off because I've got growth in every one. And I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go and get my mobile phone to save swapping the camera around. I'll tell you what, this is not a nice day to be out here filming. Yeah, so you can see we've got growth there. A little bit deep in that one, but you could just see it's growing. Water pump's running, and we are on the veg mode still. Okay, not used any water yet, obviously, so they just started growing. I think, now I'm probably wrong here, I think the growth is a little bit slow because I'm in a cool greenhouse. If this was indoors, it'd be growing a lot faster. Right, somebody asked me what the power, uh, the power usage was. Right, this is my uh, power bank. And we're using 26 watts at the moment. And at the current rate, I've got 23 hours before the batteries run out. So we're 98% full. So 26 watts, that's not bad. So that's less. I'm using it on 12 hour light. So about 15p a day, if not even that. Yeah, we'll work that out in a minute. And also with the lights, let's get this back down again. Gotta be careful pushing this down just in case you damage the um, water level indicator. There we are. Right, also with the lights, somebody asked um, what is the output? And blah, 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 blah. I got a note from Letpot. I emailed them because there was nothing definitive on the website. And we've got the LPHSEs, 70 LEDs, draw approximately 24 watts, where you've just seen 26. The SMD technology delivers 30% more luminous flux than traditional lights for plants, which maximises photosynthesis and speeds up growth by up to five times. This all also creates a perfect temperature environment because it is a little bit warm under there. For plants to germinate and grow and we know there's two light modes veggie herb veggie and herb and fruit and flower and the 70 leds 24 watts 1028 micromoles per meter squared per second is the technical jargon for the light output how that compares to others i don't know i know that with one i had even with the canopy at its highest once the lettuces etc had grown they were tinged and brown on the edges where it was a bit warm for them so that's the gump from the light that's what i was asked uh they've done the wattage we've done that we've done that yeah so that's okay so one more thing somebody else asked a lot of questions over this i've actually oh, i see um two people have used the code so far and possibly a third at the moment right um Somebody else has asked about the food, what, what exactly is in the food, and what I'll do, I'll put a copy of this in the video. But like I said before, A has nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, but it's also got manganese 2%, iron 0.3%, manganese 0.06%, copper 0.005% and zinc 0.1% and 0.1% boron, and B has got 12% nitrogen, 15% calcium, and 5% magnesium. Now, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do this inside because it is cold. I'll tell you what, I can, yeah, I'll be glad when this sun comes over. Right. 
didn't show you this before because I've been saving this for this video to tell you the truth, is the Let Pot app. So we'll go indoors and do that. I'll leave this set up in the greenhouse for now and we'll go and talk about the app. Okay then guys, I'm going to try and show you on my phone the, um, the Let Pot app. I'll put it right at the back here so I know where it is. What you do, you connect the, uh, your, your phone, either Android or iOS, to the Let Pot via Bluetooth. It then asks for your uh, router, your router password, and eventually it links via Wi-Fi. And then from a pull-down list, um, you select your device. So I've got the Let, Let Pot LPHSE, and it's an A599. It's Wi-Fi connected. Been running for five days and I'm on 12 hours lighting. I'll explain that in a second. I can turn it on and off from here. I'm not going to stick the phone out the window and show you it in the greenhouse, but believe me, it's it does work. Back on again. And the LED mode, we are in... My pen's a bit um, sensitive. There we are. You can go fruits and flowers or vegetables and spices. So we're in vegetables and spices. And what is good about this is you can change the schedule. Now you remember I said to you on the first video it's um, 16 hours on, 18 hours off. But here you can change it. I've got it on from 7 in the morning till 7 in the evening. And if I want to extend it I just go 2100 or whatever. Okay. And it changes to 2100 and we're 14 hours of light. I can turn the pump on and off. It tells me how long the seeds have been in, and if it's wrong, you can change that as well. And you set up alerts. And the other thing I want to show you is... Do, 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 let's go back. Okay, you can set as many devices up as you want. It's got a diagnostic system, so if you have problems, you can send off your Wi-Fi signals and your, uh, your server response times and things like that. But we don't want that at the moment. Lots of little bits and pieces here that you expect from an app, but what you have got is this thing called Garden. Now I set up the mescaline mix, but we can do more than that. We can set up a new plant. So let's think, um, what can we grow in future? So I open the wiki. I'm going to search for uh, some sort of basil. Searching for basil. Got a few. It's got, it always gives you a few funny ones, like the Zeds first. But then we get into the basils. So let's go for why not, Greek basil. Why not? Tells you all about it. Greek basil is this and that. Add to my garden. So we add it to the garden. Give it a name. My basil. My basil, that'll do. Done is a Greek basil. Start date, 8th of the 1st, 8th, 8th of January. It's going indoors in hydroponics. Done. Created. So we go back one. And there we are. There's the basil with the photograph all set up. No diary at present. But what you can do now, you can use this as a record. So I can say that uh, da, 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 sowed. How about your plants? Uh, you can, and you can just type in whatever you want. It's fed on the so and so, ended on the so and so, cut whenever you want. And you know, it's a. Uh, let's just type something in there anyway. Hang on. Uh, sowed. So the 8th of Jan. There we are, so 8th of Jan sowed. And you can just keep a record of all your plants then. You can edit it and when you're finished you can delete it, start again. Pretty good, uh, pretty good app actually, I like it. So I've got two plants growing. <laughs> I'll take one off in a minute. And you can, uh, you can do it manually if you want. You can put your own plants in, whatever type it is, what breed it is, where it is. And you can use it not just for your, um, 
your LPH, you can just you can use it for outdoor plants as well. So there we are. So I've got one growing outdoors now, but it's not in the LPH. Yeah, I mean, brilliant. So I hope that's a bit of a uh, bit of help for you guys. You know, it's quite a useful app as well. Okay, then, guys. As promised in the last video on the Let Pot LPH SE, here are the details of how you can win this particular unit. All you need to do is leave a comment on each of the three videos regarding the Letpot LPHSE and I will check that you've left three, add them all to a list, stick them in a random comment picker and we will have a winner. UK only I'm afraid guys due to the postage costs but if you are overseas then maybe I could ship it to a relation or whatever here in the UK and they can forward it to you. We'll see. Um, that's it. One more video to come and that will be an overall review and a bit of harvesting. So watch out for that and enter the draw. Take care guys.